Injury update on Deion Dawkins, Tyrell Dodson, Gabe Davis, Ty Johnson, and Rasul Douglas. Buffalo Bills are dodging bullets here on the injury front per Sean McDermott. The quality depth and how they were able to make some plays out there for you. Yeah, that's big. And, and I mentioned this after the game. He went. Those guys being ready to go, taking ownership of that responsibility for themselves and coaches having them ready to go. And it just goes back to the process during the week of these guys paying attention, even though they're not the primary starter. It takes just one snap and they're in there and they're going to be expected to execute. And, uh, and those guys did a phenomenal job of, of just that. We can see NFL insider Ian Rappaport stating that Gabe Davis suffered a PCL sprain that is not considered to be major. And if you remember the game, Gabe Davis did come out of that locker room and witness the Buffalo Bills victory against the Miami Dolphins standing on the sideline. Plus, we could witness Gabe Davis getting to his feet awfully quickly after the supposed injury to his knee when we all saw his legs collide. I believe Gabe Davis is going to be fine for the playoff run. And James Palmer is completely right. The value of Gabe Davis to this offense isn't just when he is targeted. He's a vital role to Joe Brady and what we do schematically. He plays more snaps this season than any skill player in Buffalo. He's more of a clean the route runner, right? He clears guys out to open up other players in this offense. Here's the play where Razul Douglas gets hurt, and here's a slow down angle of it. You can kind of see the whiplash to the leg, knee area of Razul Douglas. You know, fortunately, the Bills are dodging a bullet here, and it's nothing serious. Injury here with Razul Douglas, you could see how gruesome that actually looked, but per Sean McDermott, he said that the injury isn't too bad. Razul Douglas almost made it back into the game, but after a conversation with Dane Jackson. Going back in or we're working on them or they're not going to be able to return. A situation with Rasul, it got to a point of he's going to be out for the game. So that conversation that, that you're referring to that unfolded with Dane and Rasul there, you know, I was not privy, privy to that conversation. Razul Douglas was confident in Dane Jackson remaining in the game, giving him a little bit of rest for this upcoming playoff run. A little bit Bills PR actually claiming that as a knee injury, but we can also see that WGR 550 saying that Razul Douglas was able to walk off the field initially after being down for a bit. Whether it's Razul and Dane and the situation they were going through together, working through together, and then as you mentioned, Deion, Bandy, among others, right? So Deion Dawkins with a hand laceration. Deion Dawkins says that his finger almost fell off, painting a pretty gruesome picture here for Bills Mafia. And I don't know if you saw the clip, but all the blood all over his hand, I'm not going to show it here, but you could see here that Deion Dawkins said that his finger almost fell off, but that's the beauty of the game. Dawkins went on to say, we have guys that care and I don't want to let my guys down. So stitch it, wrap it, get my behind back out there. That's what they paid me to do. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. And Ty Johnson taking this blow right before half. Short of the goal line, but Ty Johnson being in concussion protocol for the Buffalo Bills. Now, we really didn't dodge a bullet necessarily on this one, but the preparation is so key for Bills Mafia. Latavius Murray was not in the game versus the Miami Dolphins. He should be well-rested to go versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Plus, we've been giving Leonard Fournette some needed snaps the past several weeks, getting up to speed. Playoff Lenny should be ready to go to supplement the loss of Ty Johnson if he can't go versus Mike Tomlin's Pittsburgh Steelers. Here's the other angle of it you could see the helmet to helmet blow I'm shocked that this was not a penalty called by the refs unbelievable hit here on Ty Johnson clearly a concussion here's the injury by Tyrell Dotson a shoulder injury man he got tossed up in the air sacrificing himself throwing his shoulder right in there trying to get the ball out it's just an unfortunate play by Dotson but once again, the Buffalo Bills have prepared themselves with Balin Spector going all the way back for about a month. Sean McDermott has been using Balin Spector in a base defense. So he's been getting some well-needed snaps under Sean McDermott. And don't forget that Balin Spector was dealing with an injury of his own all season long. It's unfortunate right when Balin Spector gets healthy that Dotson goes down 
But, you know, Baylin Spector is another sleeper on this team. I've been saying, you know, we really didn't know what we had with Terrell Bernard. I trust Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean's eye for talent, surely. And we could very well have another sleeper here with Baylin Spector as a linebacker for the Buffalo Bills. Here's a clearer angle of it. You can see Dotson really diving in there. And we really look at the Buffalo Bills the past several weeks, and we've been dealing with a lot of injuries of our own or illnesses. Mitch Morris almost missed the game versus the Miami Dolphins with an apparent illness and we could see here that Justin Shorter's 21 day window has been opened I think it's highly unlikely that he's going to see the playoffs here for the Buffalo Bills as we already mentioned Deion Dawkins his hand laceration almost losing his finger but it's stitched up and he came back into the game you could also see that the Buffalo Bills have had some other injuries to AJ Epinesa we've had Micah Hyde Jordan Poyer also dealing with injuries but they are getting healthy the Bills are getting healthier. Dane Jackson and Taylor Rapp also dealing with injuries this season, but they are healthy at this point. Dane Jackson filling in for Razul Douglas, not missing a step, getting credit from Jordan Poyer after the game, saying they did not lose anything with Razul Douglas being out because Dane Jackson is ready to go. Taylor Rapp is healthy too, finishing and sealing that game off versus the Miami Dolphins, delivering punishing blows. Taylor Rapp is legit, and we could see that Baylin Spector, A.J. Klein have been ruled out during the season. I think A.J. Klein just kind of an older veteran, but Baylin Spector was dealing with an injury. You know, maybe we do call up A.J. Klein too if Dotson does remain out. See here that Sean McDermott even ruled out Ed Oliver at the beginning of the season, Quentin Morris, Damian Harris that we lost, Micah Hyde, Trey White. The Bills are just dealing with a lot of injuries during the season, but we're clearly getting healthier at this point. And the NFL's 2023 sack leader at 19 is going to be out versus the Buffalo Bills. This is a huge loss for the Pittsburgh Steelers to include their quarterback. Mason Rudolph is going to be starting there. Kenny Pickett is out for the remainder of this season. Now, a lot of people are hyped up about Mason Rudolph and what he did. But again, Mason Rudolph is not a top-tier quarterback in the NFL, especially going against a Sean McDermott defense with Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, a healthy defense with stunning blitzing from our safeties, our linebackers, our corners, our nickel corners. Stunning on that line of scrimmage. Bills Mafia should be ready to go. You can see Ian Rappaport naming TJ Watt a serious grade two MCL. We could see the highlight there and how serious it was. It is highly likely that he is not going to be playing this week for the Steelers. You can see the Steelers have been dealing with some injuries going into that final game against the Ravens. We could see that. Najee Harris was a limited participant in practice that week due to a knee. Minka Fitzpatrick did not participate on Tuesday because of a knee. You could even see here that Landon Roberts with a pectoral injury was also limited during the week. Trenton Thompson, their safety was limited. I truly believe at this point in the season, although the Buffalo Bills have sustained some injuries, we clearly dodged some bullets against the Miami Dolphins. It does seem like Razul Douglas could very well play versus the Steelers. Gabe Davis could very well play versus the Steelers. Who knows? Ty Johnson could very well clear concussion protocol and play against the Steelers. But if not, we've been preparing in the background with Leonard Fournette getting reps. Latavius Murray having a healthy break not playing against the Miami Dolphins plus with Dotson being out and Baitland Spector being healthy and you couple that with Baitland Spector even seeing the field and getting some valuable reps creating those memorable moments on the football field not all is lost for Bills Mafia and Dorian Williams now we all know the Pittsburgh Steelers like to run the rock a ground and pound type offense with Najee Harris I believe the Buffalo Bills could very well come out in some base defense with Terrell Bernard, with Baylin Spector, and Dorian Williams as our starting three linebackers. Also, don't forget about this big nickel formation when we have basically a dime package out there too, but Taron Johnson, Taylor Rapp, Jordan Poyer, and Micah Hyde in that dime are really just a big nickel with Jordan Poyer, Micah Hyde, and Taylor Rapp. 
We have all the elements here to stop the run. Sean McDermott has done such an excellent job. You look at everyone else trending up, getting healthier, including Von Miller, Greg Russo, AJ Epinesa, man, Puna Ford, too, stepping up here for Bills Mafia. Linval Joseph getting a healthy break against the Miami Dolphins, too, because of all the speed that they present. The Steelers clearly are not as fast. I think Linval Joseph, Daquan Jones, also healthy, being paired up right next to one another in this Sean McDermott scheme. Najee Harris is not going to go anywhere. Even Minka Fitzpatrick for the Steelers was questionable against the Baltimore Ravens. TJ Watt being out. Najee Harris dealing with a knee, obviously without Kenny Pickett too. The Buffalo Bills are a much healthier team than the Pittsburgh Steelers and we are at home. I hope you all truly appreciate this video. If you did, hit like, subscribe. That's how you're going to support me and my efforts for this channel. If you want to continue to support me further please take a look at the links in the description the buffalo chicken wing merch we have free shipping sizes small through 5xl long sleeve hoodie blue gray black red every single color different designs too you guys are all truly amazing the roadmap to the super bowl has officially started also i want to hear from you comment down below your thoughts on these injuries do you agree that the buffalo bills officially dodged a bullet versus the miami dolphins do you think that sean mcdermott has been preparing this team developing the depth on this roster to be ready to go for moments just like this but again i truly appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart hit like subscribe and go bills Bills.